Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so let's do the spirit guides of the night. And so this is to the masters, my angels per night. Turn on, you guys. Them to receive concise messages to the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Okay, let's see. My collective. So we have here the Queen of Swords. We have here the Judgment. So it could be connected to a Libra or a Virgo here or a Scorpio. I'm seeing here you made a decision. Mm -hmm. to move forward from a connection with somebody it's like this person wasn't trying to respect your boundaries or it's like they wasn't trying to communicate and it's like if they did try to communicate they're alive i'm seeing here you would know if this person lying you know because you like you could have known this person for a long time like you know this person like the back of your hand yeah king of wands here just flew out these cards be flying everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, this person, the King of Wands here, it's like, they could have been very attractive, you know. But I'm seeing here, it's like this person, that's all they had to give was good looks. You know, it's like they wasn't a good person. This person wasn't loyal. Okay, they was a cheater. And it's like, I'm seeing here, you have a, cl a clearer mind getting, being away from this person. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this I'm seeing here. It's like this person could have been work, 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 work two four seven, you know, and not paid attention to you. And I'm seeing here, you realize like, all right, this person not paying attention to me, then you know, I'm just focus on myself and get with somebody that's going to commit to me and pay attention to me, you know, and and make the time for me. I'm saying here's like this person could have always made excuses on why they couldn't see you because they could have been career focused, but still that was just an excuse. Okay. Yeah, now I'm seeing here it's like somebody here that's going to be coming in towards you. This person is going to be mature. They're going to be an entrepreneur, a natural leader. Okay. And I'm seeing you're going to overcome challenges that you had in this past connection with this person. Okay. But yeah, I'm seeing here, it's like you've just been working hard, okay, being productive, handling your responsibilities, the star card here. Yeah, it's like you've been healing from this situation. Okay, now somebody is coming towards you with the nine of cups here. This person going to be very romantic, charming, okay. Yeah, it's like your nine shining armor coming through, okay. And I'm seeing here, it's like, I feel like it's going to be a, a mature relationship, okay. It's like somebody also going to be coming back from your past, asking for a renewal with you, Okay, I'm seeing here, you could be like in the spotlight of the star card here, like you could be well known, and it's like, that's why this person want to come back, because you look good as hell, and it's like, you know, they was playing with you in the past, but now they see, you know, a lot of eyes on you. Clarify the star card. Yeah, I feel like you feel rejuvenated as fuck from leaving this person. Yeah, Ten of Wands from feeling this way. And I'm seeing here, it's like somebody here from your past is coming with the same ass energy, you know, so be careful. Like they're going to try to, like they're trying to heal things. That's how they start cards, but they're not. Yeah, they're just going to cause more drama. Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. Some of you guys could either try to heal some type of resentment you have towards this person. And it's like you just need to stay away, far away from this person as possible. <laughs> But I'm saying they're going to try to come in to give you some type of commitment here. But it's like, don't take that. Yeah, two of pentacles here. I'm just seeing here you're doing good. And they're struggling financially. They're still juggling other people that they're either dealing with. This person's not faithful at all. Okay. Yeah, but I'm seeing a new energy coming in towards you. Okay. You could be spiritual as well. And this person, like, I don't know if you have your own YouTube channel or you do tarot. But you have a lot of good fortune coming. Okay, I'm also seeing here you, you do a lot of good things for other people as well, you know. 
nine of cups yeah i'm seeing here it's like you're not even going to see this coming this person i'm seeing here it's like you're just going to be focused on your achieve achievements you're going to be living your life your luxurious life okay i'm seeing here you're emotionally stable but i feel like that's why this person is coming towards you because you have been healing you have been doing what you need to do you've been having faith that everything's going to be better okay we have eight of wands here Yeah, it's like you've been focusing on your passions. And this person from your past is like they have regret. They're disappointed in their actions. They feel like a failure. They feel like they lost you forever. They feel pessimistic. This could have been a Scorpio. Okay. But this person also misses the sex with you guys. Okay. But I'm seeing here you have a lot of new opportunities coming towards you. Okay. You've been growing a lot. Okay. You've been having the urge to create. Okay. Clarify the Nine of Cups. I'm seeing here, it's like they're manifesting this luxurious lifestyle for you if you don't already have it. Okay. The devil. Yeah, it's like you're obsessed with having the, this, this, this beautiful life for yourself, you know? And I feel like you've been working hard. Some of you guys, you know you're tired, but it's like you feel like it's going to pay off in the long run, but you're still working hard. To complete this goal here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You want to be financially stable. Okay, you want to be able to be independent, get everything that you want. Okay, by yourself. You want to be content with yourself. And I feel like this wish is going to come true towards you because you've been working extremely hard. Okay. And it's like, once you at the top, it's like it's going to be people from your past that's going to be trying to come back that treated you bogus or didn't treat you right. You know, now they feel bad because you, you want your shit now. Okay. They could be seeing you when they when they go on YouTube, see your see your face, or you know, hear your name on the radio or some shit. Pay the sword. Yeah, this person is watching you. It's a lot of people watching you, even outside haters, family members that was bogus to you, all type of shit that's watching you, that regret treating you or talking behind your back. You know? Yeah, that's so curious. They feel like you you're rich, like you could dress really nice. Yeah, like your life is so balanced. It's like when these people look at your life, they be like, wow, like she's so abundant. Like she got her shit going on and he got his shit going on. Okay. And it's like you manifest all this. You put in the work necessary. Like it's not rocket science. I feel like you found your meaning in life. You found your purpose, you know, and it took patience. It most definitely took patience. King of Swords here. Yeah, it's like somebody here that was so nonchalant to you, that was detached from you. Now they want to come back and plant this new seed with you, start over fresh, balance the situation out with you. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you got where you needed to be because you, you disciplined yourself. It's like it's hard for people nowadays to discipline themselves, you know, and actually put in the effort to stop doing things that they used to do, like their old ways, stop their old ways, you know, stop addictions, things of that sort, stop overspending. And I feel like you have been invested in working extremely hard. Okay, it's like you've been thinking long term, long term. Okay. You've been persevering, you're diligent with your work, and you was definitely been getting sustainable results. Okay, whatever you invested in was definitely smart. I feel like you're very smart with the King of Swords here. Like, you know, you're very wise. You know, you, you do your research before you invest in anything. And I'm saying here, it's like you worked on yourself so much that you're not finna be dealing with nobody that's going how you bored or discontent or you feel disconnected from. You know, like you you done with that type of shit. Like that's some little kid shit, honestly. Yeah, but people are so nosy. Like people just so wanna know what's going on with you. Like people watch you day and night when they wake up before they go to sleep. The strength card in reverse. Clarify the four of cups. Yeah, I'm saying here, it's like in the past, you you really invested a lot of your time into somebody and it didn't end up like being what you wanted it to be. Step on the four of cups. Yeah, it's like this person had a lot of pride. Okay. Like, and I'm saying here, it's like you knew that this wasn't right for you, but you either doubted yourself. Like, do you probably could have thought that, you know, this was normal or something. Okay. This person could have been insecure. They could have made you feel insecure. You could have felt like, you know, you don't deserve love. Like, you just settle for this. Yeah, but I'm seeing here, it's like, you took action. Like, you got so bored 
with this person. This person could have been lazy as hell. But you got so bored with this person, you start taking action and being creative and doing things that you needed to do. You start focusing on your, your confidence, you know. You realize that you needed confidence to be successful, you know. We have here the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person had a bad anxiety. They always thought negative and they had project onto you like what they've been thinking. They either feel like you've been dealing with somebody else. Somebody here could have been depressed, okay? Had a lot of trauma here that they haven't healed from. Keep reliving the past. It's like this person don't need to be in a relationship. It's like a lot of people get in a relationship like for trauma bonding, you know? But this person don't have no type of self-love. Mm -hmm. Clarify the little fortune. And you thought that this was normal. You thought that, right? We're going through ups and downs. But it had been like a lot of downs in this connection. And you realize that. And you was like, right, it's time for a change. And I feel like this person, you feel like if you were to stay dealing with this person, this person would have messed up your finances and good things that was coming in for you. Because they were so down and depressed. It's like this person could have been sucking up your energy, you know? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles here. It's like, yeah. You could have been provided for this person financially. It's like this person either get high as hell or drunk as hell and, you know, go to sleep. And it's like you always had to either work, you was working for this person. Like, you provided more to this person. You could have had your own place, all type of shit. And this person was just leeching off of you. They have cups. This person could have had a problem with partying too much. Like, what are you celebrating? Like, you have nothing to accomplish. You don't got shit going on for yourself. Like, what are you celebrating? And this person that either get mad because you either want to go out with your friends or somebody and celebrate, you know, have some drinks or something. But we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person just wanted you to be at work. Like, that's all, like... They was content with you just working, being at work. They didn't want you to be going out because they feel like somebody either trying to holler at you or something. And you want to tell them. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, but now I'm saying you're single, okay? And it's like you could, you, you're able to go out and enjoy yourself without answering to nobody, okay? Yeah, you're you're during the first of your labor, okay? You're financially independent, you're self-sufficient here. Okay, you must definitely um, put your standards high now. Okay, and it's like whatever you work, like doing, like whatever you, your occupation is, you have a passion for it. But yeah, with the Five of Swords here, it's like this person was trying to block you from what you are destined to be doing. The life that you're destined to be living, you know. Yeah. This person was sneaky. They could have been abusive as well. But it's like, this person was like trying to bully you in some type of way. But I feel like this person feels defeated because it's like they was trying to sabotage you because they got their own demons in their head. They can't get out their mind. And it's like, you you didn't want you don't like that. You don't want that negative energy around you. You know, you moved away from the ass with the eight of wands here. You moved quick as hell. Clarify the five of swords. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person will have nothing going on. Like, they could be trying to learn a new skill or something, but it's like Queen of Cups. Yeah, they don't have nothing going on for themselves. As you chose yourself, you chose to love yourself, put yourself first. And you and you knew this person was trying to act like you wasn't compassionate or didn't contribute to nothing. And you was like, oh, okay, you're ungrateful. I see. Yeah, you start healing yourself. Caring for yourself. And I'm seeing here is also very intuitive as well. But I'm seeing here is like since you moved away from this person, it's like you feel like stable, like your emotions are all over the place. Okay. You're calm, like you don't have to be worried about you finna argue with this person or not. Coming home, like what else? Not at all. Yeah, and this person is mad. Looking at you mad. Looking stupid with the nine of wands here. Because you had the courage to move away from the ass. They want you to stay like this. You know? And allow them to be in and out. 
but you moved forward to trade. Yeah. You was determined here. You took back control of your life. For sure. And it's like this person always prepared for the worst. What about the nine of wands? We have here the six of cups. Yeah, they want to return back to you. <laughs> but you put boundaries up against them. They don't like these boundaries. This person is a narcissist for sure. They do not like these boundaries. We have the four swords. Yeah, you're resting. You're healing away from this person. You're in solitude. You don't want to be around this person. The fuck? Okay, so I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!